could be wearing a helmet. What's up, everybody? I'm John. I'm Audrey. We are Cars and Cameras, and we just got back from Oregon. It was a blast uh, with Go Power Sports. It was so much fun in that 100-mile mini bike race. Uh, right before we were left for Oregon, the same night, we picked up a motorcycle for $350 with the intention of harvesting the engine because all of Ike's CB550s are, well, kind of, kind of worn out. No offense, buddy. You know. It's all right. No, I'm taking. So, here's what we have. A 1982 Honda CB750. This puppy makes 67 horsepower, whereas our 550 was only supposed to make 39. So this thing makes close to double what the 550 made. The uh, red line is 9,500 RPM. We bought it with a bill of sale. It would take a ton of work to get this thing back on the road as a motorcycle, but for our purposes of just needing a good engine, it won't be too difficult. So. The previous owner said it cranked up for him not too long ago, but we could only get it to sputter with starting fluid. He said a year ago. A year ago? Which okay. probably means three years ago. Yeah, well, so number one is get this thing to crank over. We noticed when we were checking out the bike that the clamps on the intake manifold were kind of loose on the carburetors, so we are going to loosen them all the way, try to jam the carburetors on a little bit more, retighten, and then uh, we're going to try to put some fuel in it, because uh, we were thinking we had starting fluid when we were looking at the bike. Um, and we were kind of thinking that the starting fluid wasn't getting deep enough into the carburetors to get into the cylinder and fire over. And there's just nothing better than gasoline. Good, Absolutely. clean gasoline. So I think that's our starting point right there is some good clean gas, a fresh battery. Yep. Because we're going to need a battery, a good battery for this engine when it's on the cart. Yep. Uh, it's electric start only, right? I, I knew that somewhere around... 78, 77 or something. I think they were doing away with the kickstarts on these things. The previous owner did put another set of carburetors on the bike. Uh, it came with the original ones, but he says those are kind of worn out and we're hoping that these will be better. They're, but I mean, there's that only one be. way to find out. <laughs> Gonna go ahead and, uh, I don't know, tighten it up, closen it up. I don't know, push it up. I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, dude. It was a good weekend, but it, it was, was a long weekend. It was an awesome weekend, dude. So you think these are K&N? Yes, they are K&N pods, and we can definitely use them, but if this thing turns out to be a steamy pile, uh, we can definitely sell them. Yeah. Because they're good pods. I just wanted to let you guys know that I updated our power to weight ratio calculation here. So with this 68 horsepower 750 on uh, the cross cart we're putting together, we figure it's gonna gain about 100 pounds. So we're gonna assume 600 pounds with a rider. That's the same power to weight ratio as having a 40 horsepower engine on the American Express 2.0, which is uh, just kind of mind boggling. So Ike did 72, 73 miles an hour on the American Express 2.0 with 20 horsepower. Imagine a doubling that, and this is what this is gonna do. It should be good enough for running. I think, uh, I think these two were off enough it was sucking a lot of air. Okay. All right, so we went out and bought a battery. We filled it up, it's charged up. Ike's gonna go ahead and install it. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw in some 95 octane Optima and we're gonna see if this thing's gonna fire up. You never know. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I'm an idiot. <laughs> What'd you do? <laughs> What'd you do? It all spilled out of the vent cap. No, <laughs> put the vent, you close the vent cap. It worked fine with the vent cap. Close. Okay. <laughs> 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 it's coming awful close to touching that chassis. Do we have fuel? Alright. Choke on, key on. Take this screw out and see if we got anything in the bowl. Not again. 
here we go. Now we'll just take it over to the table, turn her upside down. Oh God, the varnish is coming right out of the little drain spots. These carburetors are jacked. I mean, we already got the mess. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's all uh, gummed, up. gummed up. But I tell you what, it looks a lot better in there than the than the 550 than the stuff. 550s. Yeah. We definitely have a problem with some uh, sludging. Someone didn't drain the carburetors. Everything's uh, gummed up. Uh, we're gonna have to take these carburetors apart and let them soak. All right. All right, so we've taken the bowls off of both sets of carburetors and we have decided to go with the carburetors that were installed on the engine when we bought it. Basically what I'm doing is I'm using the carburetor cleaner to get rid of uh, a lot of the varnish. Uh, and I'm taking the jets out and I'm gonna be cleaning them out with my, my tip drill set. Handy dandy. Yep. And uh, while I'm at it, I'm going to oversize the jet just a tad. Just a little bit. We already got the K&Ns. Yes. We're probably going to go with the higher flowing exhaust. Yep. Might as well uh, give it a little more fuel, too. Ah, there we go. Now, which jet is that? This is not the main jet. This is uh, probably, just a guess, like an idle jet or something. Ike has the primary jets, the idle jets, and some other stuff cleared out. What other, ever other jets. Yep, and I have the bowls uh, cleaned up and we're ready for reassembly. That one's working. That one's working. Let me know if he's uh, gonna get me. Yeah, you got an angry turkey behind you, man. All right, these are almost ready to go. And if we have to do like a, a deep clean, we will. But we figured, why not give it a shot? See if it'll work with this. All right, man, I think we're ready to reinstall. Let's do it. Let's give it a shot. Key's on. Truck doesn't want to stay on. Here we go. Angry chicken. Good check, uh, fire? Yeah. You ready? Yep. Uh. Yep. Sweet. Yeah. I saw it though. So you're saying we could have some fouled plugs? We could have some fouled plugs. I think we'd be getting off a little lucky. Bad coils? Could have a bad coil. All right, I'm gonna spin it over and you look at all the plugs. Okay. That one ain't working. The second one is, that one is. Yeah. Here we go. Yep. Got the spark. Yeah, got all, got two over here. Two over here. Check it out over here. Hmm. Oh, yep. Yep. Interesting. So we have spark. Seem to have compression. Maybe they, uh, whoever messed with it last didn't put it in the correct firing order. We don't know the history on this bike. Right. We took the plugs back out to find that the, are we gonna tell them? I accidentally hit the uh, <laughs> switch to off. Yeah, so we, we had absolutely nothing. We're like, what's going on, what's going on? So plugs are back in, we're gonna try it again. You ready? All right, yeah. <laughs> Dude, it sounds pretty good, man. Riding it. Could be 
be wearing a helmet. Oh, it sounds so good. You want to do a burnout? Oh, I want to know. $150 Honda CV 750. We could get that back out of it right now if we wanted to. Here come all the what did you expect comments. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Hey dude, I think it sounds good. Yeah. Um it smokes, which kind of sucks. Well, I mean it took forever for my Nova to clear up. I'm serious. Yeah. It took forever. Uh So, I mean first things first is we need to get a valve cover gasket. Yep. And we can run it longer. I don't think we want to put this on that frame if it doesn't stop smoking. I think you're right, yeah. So we need to see if it'll stop smoking. So we're going to have to run it some more. Yep. So we're going to have to replace, replace the valve, valve cover gasket. Yeah. That is a massive leak, dude. Yeah. Well, it's leaking right out of the valve cover. So valve cover gasket and we'll vac the carburetors. So at this point we know the 750 runs, which is awesome. We need to go inside and order a valve cover gasket. Um, we did order some parts from, what was it, Agrisupply? Um, what are they called? Top links. We ordered a bunch of top links, thinking that we could use them for our suspension. So we're going for independent front and independent rear suspension on this project, on the cross cart. And this is what we were able to find. They were like five or six bucks a piece. Um, and they're a little bit bigger than what we want. And so we could use the parts that we just bought from the uh, farm supply store, but we'd have to sleeve them because the hole is just so darn big and it just seems excessive. So we're gonna go inside and look for some parts and uh, take the carburetors off and start the deep cleaning process and we will get back to you. John wanted me to have this done like Saturday and I completely forgot. I was working on a CT70 for a buddy of mine and completely forgot about these carburetors. So I'm sorry, buddy. I totally understand if you fire me. In fact, I'll just go ahead and go now. No, nice try. You're not getting out of this this easy. No, <laughs> it's okay. <Man. laughs> All right, so uh, I started to take these carburetors apart today and I was gonna vat each single each one of them, every single one of them. And I got looking, they're gonna be in a hundred pieces just to vat the carburetors. You have this bracket you gotta take apart. You have these pipes. You have the, the little flaps in here for the chokes and stuff. It just, I don't wanna do it. <laughs> Please don't make me do it. No, you, no, don't worry. <laughs> uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just clean these carburetors real good with some brake clean and air. We didn't use air at the shop. Uh, it could be out of time, like cam timing. Yeah. I hope not, but it's possible. Yeah. Uh, another thing, it could have been overheated because it, it's a smoker. A little bit. It, it seems like it's clearing up, but we don't know the past history of this bike. Why did it get parked in the first place? Right, yeah. Is it because it was down on power? And I know what some of you guys are gonna say, why don't you just go out and buy a wrecked 2018 um, Kawasaki 300 or 500 or 600 or something. Are they like 2,500 bucks They can be like very, that? very expensive. This is more the it'll be fine cars and cameras way, am I right? Yes, sir. Buy something dirt cheap just like anybody else would and uh, try to make it work. And if it doesn't work, you buy something else cheap and then you, know, you keep doing it until you realize that you probably could buy the expensive bike. It'll be fine. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so after taking the carburetor bowls off for the second time within a week, um, we have accumulated some trash in the bottom of them in just the, uh, in just the few minutes of runtime we have. Obviously, we've got some debris in the fuel system. I don't think it would be in that fuel tank that we put on there. Maybe it's just in the passages it of the carburetor. Could be in the passages of the carburetors. Let's uh, get... 
blowing out. So the carburetors have been blown out. We are gonna reassemble three out of four of them. And then tomorrow when we rob the washer and O-ring out of the other carburetors, we're gonna reassemble the last one. And then we're gonna put it back on the bike and see what happens. Hey man, good thoughts, bud. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. All right, let's open the garage door and fire it up. All right, here we go. Of course, you know it's gotta crank over to fill up the bowls and stuff. Yep. What? Not fixed. Same issue as we had before. I don't think it's the carburetor. I bet you we could have added these carburetors and had the same problem. So basically we just need to wait until we get this uh, valve cover gasket in and then hopefully we can check the timing somehow. We can take, check the exhaust for uh, restrictions. I really like the sound of this bike. It sounds mean idling and then up to like four grand and then it just falls on its face. I mean, you can tell like it's gonna have some power, you know what I'm saying? So you hear it with uh, zoomies on it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, it sound nasty. dude, like I, I just really hope we can use this engine and I hope we can figure out what's wrong with it. But until then, thanks for watching this video, guys. Leave a thumbs up, uh, buy a t shirt at cars cameras.com. Hats are on sale. Facebook and Instagram at cars and cameras reviews. Check me out at Isaac, it'll be fine. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.